one of my videos has gained a lot of views recently and a lot of comments too and in quite many of those comments people seem to envy russians my thoughts were seriously you envy people with low salaries with low standards of life and almost no opportunities in their lives really you envy people who during the last hundred years mastered the skill of surviving really you think you are in a much worse position than russians really okay let me explain something hello my dear friends i'm ksenia and you're watching saint petersburg me channel watch this video till the end and maybe you will find a new strategy for your life let me give you some advice as a russian let's go during the last hundred years russians experienced a lot of hard times just let me name a few a revolution repressions the second world war lining up for basic food during the ussr times collapse of the ussr uh, rough 90s the crisis of 2008 then we experienced first sanctions after which our incomes started shrinking in 2015 then we also had uh, like everyone uh, the pandemic you know and yes our incomes started shrinking even at that time and the inflation began rising very much though we didn't have even a proper um, lockdown in russia you know everybody were working at their offices and factories but still the inflation was like skyrocketing and now this uh, so all these hard times made russians learn a very useful uh, thing which is the art of buckling up if you don't know what buckle up means in short words it's cutting your expenses as much as you can and start saving as much as you can uh in other words it's like stop buying as much as you used to i can tell you that i've mastered the art of saving money in my adult life you know now even i get some comments something like you say that you are poor how can a poor person buy an apartment in saint petersburg uh first of all i didn't say that i i'm poor i was poor but i'm not poor now you know uh and besides i know how to save money i was doing that for all my life you know <laughs> so this is how i do it i don't buy much clothes you know uh, then i don't order food delivery i prefer cooking myself and that is a really money saving habit also i rarely um, eat out at restaurants um, sometimes of course i can buy something at a nearby bakery um, and uh, like be content with that also drinking less alcohol and smoking less will help you save money i don't buy much that i need only once or for a short time i prefer buying long lasting items i know that many people buy a lot of stuff just because it's oh beautiful or oh i need that or my friend bought that and i will buy this too uh you know i also don't buy a new model of samsung or iphone as soon as they are launched to the market um i also don't travel quite a lot which i regret uh, and i want to travel a lot and i'm working on that because uh, i find traveling more useful than buying tons of um, 
things that you don't need like a new model of a TV or I don't know like a new cutlery every five months or new just just something like that I I hope you understand me also you can study personal finances management there is a lot of information on YouTube it's free a lot of articles on the internet and I can tell you that it's quite popular now in Russia uh, my friends I know that my friends um, study this information uh, you know the skill of managing your own budget and the skill of paying out loans quickly is very very popular now especially among the people from like middle class and if you think that Russians don't take loans that they're free of loans it's not like that uh, you know a lot of Russians live with uh, loans and even the statistics um, agencies say that 55% of Russians live with loans and this is very very um, like worrying situation because uh, many Russians are not able to pay the loans back because they don't know how to manage their finances so they take new loans new loans new loans to pay out their former loans so they have a, 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 like a, a, you know like a ladder of loans like i took this one then i take in this one to pay this one then i'm taking this one to pay this one so it's a very worrying situation now and all the economists all the finances specialists they say oh oh worry worry alarm 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 so if you think that russians are free of loans it's not like that unfortunately but many of them are trying to learn new skills to be able to manage their loans and fin personal finances uh, even reading the free information on the internet so maybe it's your way to just try to think uh, on this and try to find such articles videos on youtube this will be very very useful to you the other thing that you can do here is actually start earning more and there are different ways of doing it too uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is just ask your boss for a pay rise of course nobody guarantees you that this will work out but uh, it can it really can uh, the next thing, and this thing is very, very popular among Russians, is getting a side job. So many Russians have one day-to-day -day job, nine-to-six job, and they have one, two, or even multiple side jobs. You know, uh, even in my circle, um, I don't have a single friend or acquaintance of mine who doesn't have any side jobs and all of them are people with uh, education you know university education and all of them are having side jobs and not because they are bored of sitting at home in the evenings but because they need money so they have side jobs one of my friends at a certain point of her life had three side jobs except for her nine to six job and that's how things work in russia we have side jobs because in many cases your one job cannot secure you cannot provide you with money that you need for a life that's why we need side jobs and you also can find a side job for yourself. Just uh, think about your skills that can be useful for other people and that can get you some extra money. Uh, maybe you are good at making renovations at somebody's house. Maybe you can teach um, drawing and singing to children. Or maybe you have skills in graphic designing or uh, digital marketing why not just look for a part-time job or side job or just maybe somebody just needs um, some tasks to be done and uh, can pay you 
just just look around and if you are a retired person you can also do something for some extra income for example you are crocheting or knitting or do something just start an Etsy shop and actually that uh, what I was going to make for my mom because she's knitting and she needs very good stuff you know and um, I had an idea for opening an Etsy shop but unfortunately now Etsy doesn't work um, both in Russia and Belarus but you can do that you can or maybe you have knowledge of something like history cooking, literature, arts, start a YouTube channel or an Instagram page, be consistent, be passionate, find your zest and believe me, you will gain some audience and that audience will bring you some money, some extra money. Of course, you will not become a millionaire out of this, but you will have some extra money. Just try it. Why not? But Xenia, what can I do if I don't have any skills or knowledge? Okay, learn some. Do you remember how we talked about saving money on food deliveries and not going uh, eating out every day? Uh, so uh, once you save some money on cutting your expenses, you can invest that money in yourself in your knowledge for example and this is my strategy you know i always learn something <laughs> you know uh, and uh, i take courses uh, for example in a month i start um, learning a course on teaching meditation and now i'm studying numerology you know i was always interested in that so i start uh, i decided just to do it professionally why not so you can also do that and by the way if you want to know who you really are why you came here what is your mission or maybe you want to find uh, this information about your child just write an email to me yeah and uh, we will set up a meeting a consultation and i will just uh, tell you uh, all that information and by the way now i'm doing it for donation so you will you will not have uh, to pay uh, much money for that so if you want please uh, write an email to me and here is one more thing that I wanted to share with you, my dear friends. So please listen carefully. So you have cut your expenses and now you have some spare money, but you don't want to spend that money on getting a new skill or knowledge, but still you can invest that money in yourself. So you can invest that money in your health. So go check your heart or check your vascular system or check your teeth or maybe you have sore muscles go get some massages or some treatments at a spa and believe me that will do you only good that will make your uh, state uh, better on mental level and on physical level and believe me soon you will write a comment under this video Xenia thank you for the advice so investing both in your knowledge uh, in new knowledge or in your health is very good for a person and it's very significant so everyone should do that in my opinion and the last thing for today's video is charity let's talk about that so no matter how hard times are now please don't stop making charity because thus you create positive energy and you know people say the more you give the more you receive in such a way you create positive karma that will return to you back in many positive ways so please if you was donating to some i don't know like cancer fund please keep donating if you was donating for a cat's shelter please keep donating if you was donating for some environmental organization 
please keep donating you will also do only good for yourself but on the energy level so this is all for today and thank you for watching thank you for um, giving your likes and uh, sharing my content thank you for all your comments and my dear friends see you in the next video bye